All right, early morning shit talking session with Sasquatch, my dad. Yeah, dad. Are we lit, fam? Yep. We're lit. What's the claim today? I'm gonna try not to wild. You, you, you? Well, it's part of the environment it makes me that way. Society makes you that way. Well, yeah, they try to, they try to repress. Like okay. there's a lady behind you. Continue. <laughs> Continue. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm really struggling after yesterday and today. For what? Well, I started reading a book by Eric Fromm called The Same Society. It just makes it work. Yo, stop. Do you feel famous when I do this? No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a girl walking down the street. She's a tramp. I don't know. Back of both kids, she had a tattoo. I mean, I used to look at girls' legs. You know? You think she's a part of some tribe? I don't know. I used to look at them. Look at those pretty legs. They got this big old fucking head. Come on. Let's find the new guy. What is this? The new guy. He's perfect. Look at him. He's horny. Look at <laughs> I can't film him that, dude. Yeah. Dave, film him. Hey. Yo, we're filming you, dude. <laughs> What's the claim today? <laughs> Getting some breakfast? <laughs> Healthy breakfast at Wawa. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> You stand in there like trying to deny that you ate wild, but you don't give a fuck. But it's so funny. The neighbor two doors down, you know how that lady is on the phone rattle. Like his name is Stop. All right, what is up, everyone? Uh, another beautiful day in paradise out here uh, with your host Tucker F. Upper, obviously again. But uh, I got a little bit of footage of my dad earlier. I thought you guys would enjoy that. I enjoy it. I think it's hilarious. That guy's a total legend. But uh, we're out here at 77 degrees, clear skies, not too hot, a little ocean breeze off the, you know, Atlantic Ocean over here. But today I am gonna cut some grass. I got hmm, five lawns to do today. Some of them pretty small, so I think I'll be able to get them all done. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Ocean City and start cutting up the car. Uh, the lady was nice enough, the inspector, code violation inspector, I don't know what that infers, but she's giving me another week to get everything cleaned up, the trailer can stay, and yeah, so we just gotta conform to their idea of what's a clean yard, I guess, because I'm not trying to get more fines, and I'm about to leave and move in like two months, so I really don't wanna have to deal with it anyway. But uh, I gotta minimize and sell some stuff and stop bringing stuff to the shop because it's getting a little overwhelming. And yeah, I got a bunch of other stuff I need to do. I need to send out some magnets. I'm sorry for people who have been waiting a couple weeks. I'm just really bad about it. And I had to jack up the price to ten dollars because I'm losing money. It's pointless to have a business model that loses money. Um, if I send one magnet overseas, it's twelve bucks. So. I just lost profits for every magnet I sold for the whole time. So if you got a magnet before they went to 10, good for you. If you still want one, they're $10 each. Absolutely absurd, but I'm not going to just make it only within the US because I want everyone to be able to get one. So it is what it is. And I will have more merchandise in the near future available and I'll let you guys know. But um I gotta get tools from Ali. I gotta get. I got some other stuff I need. There's a trailer that someone wants me to scrap, which would be good profit slash actually usable. Um, maybe Derek wants it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see what the claim is. But uh, yeah, off we are to the first lawn. 
and I will show you guys some of the process that goes into cutting grass because it gets a little boring and I don't like filming a lot of it, but uh, here we go. Another day living the dream. Phew! All right, here's the first claim out here. There's not many weeds going in here. So I did this whole bed for them earlier this year and it's still looking pretty good. I'm gonna pull this little guy. This one, not too many weeds. I planted that, did the bed. Um, so I'm gonna cut the grass over here. It's my friend's Melissa's dad's house. Uh, they're from Pennsylvania. They just really only come down on the weekends and not every weekend. But uh, yeah, just an easy cut. They like to keep it fresh. So they claim every two, 10 days, but I do it like every two weeks. Saves that money and it's unnecessary to do every 10 days. I haven't cut it since the seventh or the, it's the ninth. I haven't cut it since. 27th, 25th, it's been like two weeks and it's not that crazy. So, here we are. What is up, everyone? Here we are at the shop. Um, the car has to go. You all know that already. Been getting citations from the city. So we're gonna try and cut the top off. We'll take the whole thing apart eventually, but step by step, we're gonna get this thing going. Took the door off last night. That last door, so all the four doors in the back are off. The hood and the side panel gone. I cut through here, but I didn't want to break the glass without filming it because I was over here at like eight last night. I got this paint drying in the sun. I know you guys were saying cat litter. I'm not gonna buy cat litter though uh, to dispose of it. If anything, I'll let it dry and then just drip it on like the wood and shit in the back of here and just let it dry. Probably the best idea. Probably should do that now. But yeah, I'm gonna try and cut here, here. This is almost cut. And then the other side, and then take the hood off, set it down, and then just keep dismantling, take the side panels off. <laughs> you know, anything I can get to. I'm probably gonna put a good four hours in this today, just cause I have the time. All right, we're going Diablo Metal Blade by Metal. Maybe that's not the right blade then. That's like this is a wood blade. This is this is a steel demon metal blade. We want a long metal blade though. That's the problem. 
but we're gonna have to take what we can get here. So this is not the blade, even though it's a long one. This is the blade we want. I'll probably just get through here. First, first claim. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys like this stump video. I know we haven't been uploading much at all for like a month to this channel, to the main nub channel, but we plan on doing a video. I'm thinking I'm gonna start uploading the stump videos that I've been doing on my main, ch on my channel onto the main channel. So like, hopefully we can get one out like once a week. Uh, I'm gonna start uploading to that and to my own channel. Uh, we've just been spending a lot of time working on growing our personal channels uh, and if you want to see the rest of this video the vlog and any of my other videos I've been putting out just go to my YouTube I'll put the link right here or just the wording and you can find that pretty easily Hobbs been working on his channel and growing his he's been working with a company called extreme and doing live videos which are getting tons of views so go over to the Facebook it's just called extreme on Facebook and you can check out some of those and Ben's been growing huge on his personal channel tons of surfing stuff so go over and check that out but uh, yeah, you know, we're still pushing really hard. Just because we haven't been uh, uploading to our main channel doesn't mean we're not still pushing the dream full time. Uh, I'd say more than we ever were just on different outlets. But yeah, it's just, it's just a vessel, dude. So like any dreams or any aspirations or any goals that you guys have for your life, just go out there and make them happen. You know, I can't stress it enough how important it is to believe in yourself and to believe in what you want in this life and then to manifest it in your mind and make it a reality. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're pushing towards that 200,000 mark and I think we're at 192,000 subscribers right now. But without uploading, we're never gonna get there. So I'm gonna try and push a couple stump videos, this one, one next week and then one that the next week of some other footage I have laying around. But uh, just keep living the dream, boys. You. All right, taking a break from the car because I got to import some footage and try and make an edit for the nub main channel. But I got a comment on my last video and it was really awesome. This is the kind of stuff that really makes me keep pushing. Scrap and pallet man he said the email that you read aloud was really heavy tore me up. I'm partially disabled veteran and you have no idea how much you inspire me and how much you inspire my 12 year old son and me as we watch your videos together. Videos like this help inspire me to make my own scrap videos and just to be myself. Thank you dude. I really appreciate it that you are commenting that and not just holding it in because that's the kind of things that really make me push and make me feel like it's all worth it. You know all this work I don't really make money off of YouTube, I do, but it's such a small amount. It would probably be like a dollar an hour or less if I actually added up the time. But stuff like this, you know, it's priceless. It's You can't put a price on that. So it's forever changing my life, this YouTube thing, every day. making a tiny little bit of progress stripping down all the plastic and the carpeting and the two all the seats are out now cut out this piece cut this through cut this almost through got to take this out I cut this piece almost through cut some of this this is a huge project and these blades are just getting smoked out on me like Need like a whole case of metal blades for this Don Don. All right, just got this piece off. 
side fender. All right, kind of getting bored of taking apart the car. I'm a little bit tired actually. Just from the sun mainly, I think. But I found this door. It has this really cool stainless front. I want to put a stencil on it, this big stencil, and spray it. And then put it out somewhere for everyone to see. Probably an AC. I hopefully Chank and me are gonna do a mission and install some stuff this weekend. Um, I got a bunch of art that I want to put up. Like some wheat paste. There besides the point. I got these sculptures, some of these, like this piece that I want to put out somewhere. Maybe with like a TV next to it. Maybe her. You know, just give up some offerings to the gods. And then this this will be one piece too. So I have three good ones at least right here already. It, without even making any more. And I have a lot of other stuff I can make into art. But um, yeah, I'm just going to paint this. And then where the paintbrush is, just drip paint all the way down. So I'll film it and show you guys the process. Alright, so I just did a little bit of art. Freedom. You know, it's a choice. It comes from within. And this is kind of like the box is there. But no matter how much people want to believe it, nothing exists within the box at all. So the whole box is underneath there. And the whole box is tilted. And there's outside of it. And everyone lives outside the box, whether they like it or not. So, just some thoughts coming from my head. It's a crazy place. But they're not done fully. But I just wanted to do some art because it makes me feel good. But, uh, done working on this stuff for the day. I'm beat down from just the sun pretty much. But I'm going to head back to the island, to, my, to the other island. And maybe I'll film some other stuff. Maybe not. Stay tuned though.